Today I've decided to do a little uh, indie title that probably no one else on Twitch has streamed and probably for good reason. Hello. So, 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 forklifts. I've, uh, I've worked in a warehouse for about a decade now, a little over a decade. Almost going on 12 years, actually, coming up in April, uh, if we survive that long. And, uh, before that, I worked in a <laughs> smaller warehouse for about six months, uh, before I got fired from that job. So, uh, uh, forklifts and I go way back, um... So, I always thought it would be funny if I played forklift games on my channel. Uh, there's not a lot of them, so, uh, like, that well would run dry very quickly. But I figured, uh, tonight, I, I, I saw this go on sale, like, a week ago, like, a couple of weeks ago. It was, like, three bucks. I said, you know what, three, three dollars is worth a joke, right? I, I can pay three dollars for a joke. It's like buying a rubber chicken, so... Uh, let's, uh, enjoy this joke together, shall we? Uh, new game. Oh, right. I forgot. We gotta be OSHA compliant, so today I also brought my, my dang vest with me. So there we go. Now we're forklifting. Just, uh, Velcro this bad boy up there. All right. Oh, it's chroma keying out the green of the vest. That's fine. You can still see it. That's funny, though. <laughs> All right, forklifting. Oh, my God, the camera. <laughs> I forgot it was a nightmare. Pink forklift. Oh, sir, good morning. Suddenly you were forced to shut down and stop working, and then you didn't start for three days. I worried about you so much, but I'm so glad you got it rebooted successfully. Let's get right to work today. This feels machine translated. I'm pretty sure this is like a Chinese developer. Uh, and then just machine translated it over to English, which is perfectly fine. Honestly, for a lot of games, you can get away with that. Uh, especially if your goal is to just get like cross continental market. Easy, easy money, etc, uh, etc. Et okay, this is, this is easy peasy. We've got, you know, forward, backward. Uh, you can see we're a propane fueled uh, uh, vehicle here. We've got our turn left and turn right, uh, raise and lower, and I think those are all of the verbs. I can, uh, <laughs> revive stuck note list. Okay. We got a map. Okay. Oh, yeah, super has a jump. That is not a standard feature in forklifts. I can, I can at least tell you that much right now. Um, oh, we've got some different camera angles here. We've got the... Okay, just the three. You've got free look, which um, kind of doesn't care what sort of object is in the way. It's just gonna, it's just rudimentary. It gets the job done. It's perfectly fine. Um, we've got our overhead and this sort of, uh, I'm not sure if this will be useful at all. It's very cinematic, but uh, I don't think I'll end up using that. So let's just get right in there. That's it. Even though it's right after the reboot, it's a senior citizen that accomplishes it effortlessly. The key to doing well is to use the tab key to switch. Okay, yep. <laughs> Next, hand the drum straight ahead of you here to Mr. Blue at the exit. Yeah, this is literally as far as I got uh, before, so. Uh, from here on in, it is a brand new... Oh, yeah, uh, look, I just... OSHA violation right there. Do never drive with your forks raised. Never, ever, ever. That is how you kill people. Lower your forks. Oh my god, this has got some, this has got some go, wow. Yeah, that gets up there. Okay. Oh, I see, that's exactly why you would want this view. It's, it's in level with your forks, not your tires. Okay, raise those bad boys up. We reverse, and we lower our forks for safety. And ideally, whenever you're driving with a load on your forks, you try to drive backwards if your view is in any way obstructed in front of you. It's, it's only proper, so that's how we're going to do it. And I don't think the game likes that. It doesn't like me looking this way. 
This is going to be difficult. <laughs> we might have to abandon proper procedure, because I'm trying to look behind me with the camera, uh, but it, it, it pretty much just wants to stay in front of you, so I guess... Uh, uh, I guess we will just be unsafe today. Just making those minute adjustments. You can probably hear it picking up on the microphone and my keyboard here. I might... Sw oh my god. Oh my god. Someone... Did someone really redeem? Can't believe it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about forklifts. Hold on, I gotta get in character. I beans oh beans I didn't know I didn't expect this <laughs> it'll, it'll take a minute for me to get into it so um, my plan is to upload this on YouTube oh my why is the camera like this hello hello uh, since this is probably going to be such a short stream I'm going to upload this on YouTube so anyone watching on there uh, I need you to understand uh, on my Twitch channel, I have a reward called What Would Larry David Do? Because I am a big fan of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, and occasionally in my life, I, I feel like he and I resonate on on, on just a spiritual level. Uh, we vibe, I guess uh, uh, you could say. So I thought it would be hilarious if I said, uh, for, for 900 fun monies on my channel, I will, I will do a, a Larry David impersonation for a little bit. Now, I'm garbage at improv. Um, it's, it's not something I've ever really done in my life. I know the fundamentals. I know, I know yes and. Like, you, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna commit to the bit. Um, but it's not something I've ever practiced, so this, this is going to be excellent training for me. Also, hello, Frontier, Frontier Jazz. Good to see you. Thanks for thanks for joining me here in this uh, ridiculous stream. Oh, oh, we are off track. <laughs> That's no good. That's no good. Speaking of Larry David, sorry. I'm going to go off on a tangent here. Just a small tangent. A small tangent. I am... 100% convinced that I saw Larry David in Michigan uh, last year, late last year. Um, I was I was going to my local gas station, um, which is just like less than a minute's drive from my home, and uh, uh, I was just getting like some uh, 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 what is, what is the drink I like? The Rockstar Energy drinks, and and I'm getting ready to leave. I pay for my stuff. I leave. I get in my car and I look to my left. And I'm I'm 100% convinced I saw Larry David there. He had the bald head, the gray hair, sort of in the, in the donut shape around his head. He was wearing khakis. He was wearing sneakers. Just very casual look. Just very Larry David look. And at that point, I would have said, oh my god, it's Larry David. I need to say hi. But, and here, here's the big but, he was with somebody. Just a, a very much younger looking uh, man who looked to be in about like his 20s or 30s. And they went into the gas station together. So I'm sitting there. I'm like... You, you, I can feel the the hair on my arm. I'm I'm just like tensing up, and 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 I'm like, do I say something? Cause like I'm not the kind of guy who's gonna go out of his way to like invade a, a, a celebrity's privacy or anything like that. That's not me. I I, I don't want to be that guy. I just want to be the kind of guy who's like, uh, hey, like your work, like what you do. Hope you have a good night. Get on your way. Um, that's a little harder to do when I'm sitting in my car and someone is just exiting a building. That's that seems like a weird interaction to me. So I'm sitting there trying to work up the courage to say something because this feels like a one, once in a lifetime opportunity, right? And and uh, I, I see him, they go up to pay. I'm like, okay, it's it's fight or flight right now. I I either fight Larry David or I, or I run away. And um, they walk out, I have my window rolled down. I sort of, <laughs> I sort of lean out of my car a little bit and, and put my hand up like I'm going to say something. And, and LD, he, he looks at me and he makes eye contact, and he, he stops mid-stride just a little bit. He doesn't stop. He slows his stride down a little bit, and, I, and I, I chicken out right at that moment. I'm like, if it isn't him, I don't know what I'm going to say. I didn't practice that part of the speech in my head at all. Like, like I, I'm the kind of person who also needs to prepare conversations with people uh, in advance uh, if I'm not expecting it. So it's like, um, well, not... Not if I'm not expecting it, but you know what I mean. 
So I'm like, okay, if, if it is him, uh, I'll ask him, are you, are you Larry David? And if it is him, I'll, I'll say, uh, I, just, look, big fan of your work. Hope you're having a great night. See you around. Um, I didn't, I didn't practice the other part of that conversation where, what if it isn't him? What if, what if he's like, who the fuck is Larry David? Or, or no, I'm not him. What would I do then? I don't know. That's why I chickened out. So he, he looks at me, he stops for just a, a half a beat and then he moves out of the car. I roll my, and I go home and not a very thrilling end to the story, but it was one of the most thrilling parts of my life because I'm to this day, I'm convinced it was Larry David, but I digress. Um, Will not be getting certified today. Um, I have had exactly one forklift certification in my life. It was at the job I got fired from. And that was the only time I've actually driven a forklift myself. Um, I threw away that certification years ago because a certification is only ever good for the building you work in. If you go somewhere else, they have to retrain you. It's, it's just you know, procedure. Where was I? Yes. Delivered. Sorry, I went off on a huge tangent. But I digress. Excuse me. I need your help. I'm out of fuel and I can't move. Can you please go ahead and bring the fuel to me? On the way here, I found fuel. If you found the fuel on your way here, you didn't think to stop to pick it up. You went and parked your car all the way over here. Terrible, terrible, terrible impression. <laughs> terrible humor, I'm sorry. Okay, there's the fuel. It's all the way over here. On the other side of this wall. It is a little vexing though. How'd you get over here and then run out of fuel? How do you let that happen? How do you get, how do you let your life get so out of whack? Uh, Gotta turn left up here, okay. I don't, th I'm not sure if that's universally true. If if there's like uh, a no, no crossover certification, like maybe you could get certified by the state, but uh, at least when I got my uh, my most current job, uh, the rule was you, uh, you just had to get trained and certified all over again. I don't even think they printed out like little cards for anybody uh, like they did at my previous job. Um, it's just, they, they just sort of demand, we, we don't know how they did it, uh, over there, um, so you just have to follow our rules. Just get with somebody who probably doesn't even know how to train anybody, um, <laughs> to let them show you how to sit in the seat and move the controls, that kind of thing. Oh, it's so disorienting. Oh, no! failure. God, there's so much acceleration forward and backwards. Oh! Did not line up correctly. Now I'm paying the price. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hello? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm getting cheers? Cheers, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I decided to bring in my vest uh, for this stream specifically. Yeah, 100%. If there was a forklift anime, this would be like the uh, the ending theme or like the love confession uh, song. Like you see two forklifts, they are uh, chilling at the end of a pier. Um, a, a gust of wind blows some like pamphlets by. And, and yellow, oh my god. Ugh. Uh, yellow forklift says, uh, uh, the moon is beautiful, don't you think? And pink forklift says, uh, uh, so desne. <laughs> because we are, we are subs, not dubs here. And, and yellow forklift was versed in English, so that's why he said it in English. He said it in English because he didn't want the love confession to be translated, but pink Pink Forklift has been practicing her English, so she understood it. Um, I digress. Um, <laughs> oh, you brought it. Thank you so much. You saved my life. Now I, eh, now I can go home. <laughs> but I need to get back to the city. Oh no, the debris. Did you cause this? Is this your fault, civilian? 
Wow, whoa! The bloom effect, my goodness. This is like, this feels like the Cars universe a little bit. Like, what? What happened to me? Oh, I... We got ourselves an open world here. Well, not open world, but like... A, a connected world. I did not expect to go back to the mini warehouse after backing into that threshold on accident. Wow. That's pretty nuts. Okay, so I think it wanted me to go around this way. I have like... I have like at least five hours of forklifting in all, across all of the times that I've played Shenmue, so... I think I'm pretty dang qualified to be playing this game. Dozer! Dozer is just kind of a good name for any character. Um, very, very appropriate for an actual dozer. What's going on? Can't get through with all that debris? Alright, I'll take care of it. I'll get rid of the rubble in a minute. I still have some work to do, so I'm sorry, but in the meantime, can you get me some fuel? More fuel. <laughs> Shit. You're right, he was underage, so he uh, he can't claim those hours on his uh, on his W-2. It was a whole thing. They, they brought forklifts back for Shenmue 3, uh, but it just wasn't as good. And there was no racing, so it was like... It just felt like... They did the bear. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Really need to get my, uh... You, we t Look, number one rule of forklifting. Low and slow is the way to go. And I am trying to, like, speed run this game. So I need to take a chill pill. That, uh, that all my time in Shenmue has really prepared me for this moment. Oh no! I looked at the chat for a second and I took a tight corner. Can't can't accelerate around a corner. That is a fool's move. That's an amateur move. Alright. Back to speed running. We're gonna get through this. Uh yeah, eventually I will get sponsorships and, and I will have a, a windbreaker uh, that says low and slow on it. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> oh, I goofed it. Oh, oh no. Okay, hold on. Uh, revive stuck. No, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? I don't have a mouse. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. In real life, you don't have a revive stuck button, by the way. Um, that is, that that button is against OSHA regulations. Uh, temporal and physical displacement is 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 frowned upon because there are so many injuries uh, in the workplace. You'll you might notice. Um, Sorry, I'm gonna free can this. You might notice that uh, I always keep my forks up a little bit off the ground. The game does this automatically, but it is another fundamental rule of forklifts that you do not drive with your forks all the way down because they will scrape against the ground and eventually wear away the uh, uh, the metal uh, that connects them to the rest of the rig and make them uh, unstable. So that is a force of habit that I will continue doing because it is uh, good practice. Ah, oh, yes. There it is. There it is! <laughs> Wait for it. Physics. That's how we're getting through. If you want to get to the city, you're going to have to go through there. Okay, new, new zone. <laughs> wow, this was a huge area. I was joking.
Jeez. <laughs> this is wild. This is like... <laughs> Kojima wishes he could get these camera angles. Oh, <laughs> late title card. Holy shit. My goodness. <laughs> wow. The past is prologue, baby. Okay. The perfect forklift. Evolution 01. Eagle's first product. The first perfect automatic forklift created by AI. This will be our first step. Is that me? Because that looks like my model. I guess I'm AI. The raise and lower controls feel a little bit opposite of what they actually should be to me, but that's fine. We can, we can deal with it. Please secure your loads, man. Put some straps on there, some plastic straps. You can't just have loose oil barrels on there, especially when we're not like doing transcontinental travel here. So what do you think? Are, are, am I forking in a simulation, or is this like the real world? Like maybe a post, uh... Well, I wouldn't call it quite post-apocalypse, because the buildings all look pristine, and so does nature. Um, there's a couple of, uh... <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me slow down. There's a couple of, like, Z... Come on, camera. Will you help me out here? I'm trying to look behind me. There's a couple of, like, Z-axis... Uh, fighting between the road and the dirt here, so that might, uh, that might lead me to believe it. Uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna roughhouse this guy a little bit. Oh no! Oh no, he's in neutral! Can I just... <laughs> okay. You know what, screw any pretense of being, like, gentle or, or safe here. We're just gonna sort of nudge you in sideways. Am I safe? No, I don't think I am. I don't feel safe. There we go. Oh, at, at least two. Absolutely. And then again, whoever designed this, uh, this work site, whoever approved this, uh, clearly does not care. They are willing to eat the fines if they can get their job done as weirdly and efficiently as possible. Back, uh, back in my previous job before the one I hold currently, um, there was one forklift we had in the warehouse. It was propane powered, just like this one. And uh, a fun game we would do to each other, to, to whoever the driver was at the moment, was uh, we would sneak up behind the forklift, we would crouch down so they couldn't see us, sneak up behind it, and slowly close the valve on the propane, and then they would wonder, hey, why, why am I not moving anymore? Why is it off? Um, funny gag, but really easy way to die if somebody isn't paying attention. And uh, I don't think anyone ever considered that <laughs> at the time. Uh, no injuries that I ever heard of, but profoundly stupid. So, what do you think? Oh yeah, I should definitely just yeet myself off of this, right? So that's the vibe I'm getting. Yeet! Whoa, whoa! Wild physics! I'm just trying not to drive over the edge. Okay, here we go. Oh good, there's a ramp. Thank goodness. I was concerned I would ha have had to have like jumped better off that roof. And there's no way I'm getting back up there again. That took entirely too long. Okay. Get rid of this guardrail. You don't need this. This is a this is a regular civilian street. You don't need that here. Oh god, I just Austin powered myself, didn't I? <laughs> okay, no, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. Oh no. 
Revive stuck. There we go. <laughs> so we're gonna go talk to this uh, this car over here. Oh my! You are such a cute little boy. Will you help me? The one that's really high up there. Can you get it? Oh, that's easy. This is easy. This is nothing. I can do this easy peasy. Well, maybe not. There's a small gap there. I don't like the looks of that, actually. This might actually be incredibly difficult. Look at that lineup, though. I nailed that. Well, then I fell off. And I fell off twice. That has been Forklift Load. I'm going to abort mission.